Hey guys, it's me, Rob Marr, back with Phil the Dreamer. That's right. For another Star Trek Picard review. This is a review of Episode 2. Yeah. And we will say, this is going to be the last review we do for now. We might do Episode 3, but we're not committing to that. Yeah. So we want to know how you guys feel about this, because this is kind of different content, you know, and you might not be into it. Maybe you are. So yeah. let us know if you enjoy this. And of course, some of it, you know, it's a, it's a lot of opinions. Like everybody's sure. got their taste. So, But, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll do Star some Star Trek more. Picard. Star Trek episode. Picard see, uh, episode, season, season, season one, one episode. episode two. So, um, first off, this review will be for the first part spoiler free. Yeah. When there will be spoilers, we'll cut into it and it'll be a spoiler warning. I'm going to say it's going to happen pretty early because there's not really that much we can talk about without getting into spoilers. Yeah, we'll get into that uh, <laughs> we'll, in we'll the non spoilers. <laughs> so, so, overall, the episode, yeah. what'd you think? Well, yeah, like we were just saying, hinting. Uh, the episode there was not a lot that happens in it unfortunately it, it was it was a bit of a slower episode I mean it was the first episode well the first episode I found was slow too yeah like I thought there was a lot of him on the vineyard just talking to his dog yeah but the, there, was, <laughs> the, the, there wasn't a lot that happened on that that's what I mean in this episode, no. So this episode was really, as like a brief overview, it was really about Picard trying to do something about what happened. He's decided, okay, I have to do something about this. You yeah. know, the girl in the last one, we're assuming you've seen the last one, at least if you're watching this. That's the girl right. in the last one, you know, how she died. He was like, okay, well, you know, like some people are behind this. I have to find it out. I have to find her sister. We have to go forward. So the whole episode was kind of him trying to figure out how to do stuff. Pretty much. Uh, I mean, um... <laughs> he, he's figure he's figuring out what to do next and we'll get into the that, that and the spoilers of course yeah but uh yeah not, not a lot actually happens but it, it, it a little bit of the mystery unravels you know and if you ask me uh, if they would have cut it to 30 minutes it will probably not have changed much <laughs> i mean I, i'm being objective here like about it you know but uh they, they also they do spend more time on that board cube that we saw in episode one yeah you get to find out why they're there why it's there everything um overall the visual effects um oh, amazing the the opening amazing. scene of the episode i thought was really extremely well done the board cube the board cube looked very good wow. best it's looked in the entire series mm -hmm. um, the acting like I said the the girl and some of the other younger actors yeah. I don't think they're the greatest but they weren't like they didn't ruin any scenes for me so I can't really you well, know. well I think they, they they are getting into their new role they're young yeah. they're eager and you know it's Star Trek it's I mean it's it, it's it's incredible it's huge you know uh, it, it's a pressure though to that what yeah do you think? well also I, I don't know if, if she's ever been in anything big before this so I don't know what her acting credentials are but it definitely takes time to get into the rhythm of a series so li like I said I, I think she did an okay job mm -hmm. um, Jean-Luc Actually, I think he did a very good job in this episode. There were yes. several moments that I thought yes. he nailed. Like, he really did a good job. There's a lot of moments you're like, wow, okay, that's like him 30 years ago almost yeah that yeah. it was it was very well really? done but visual effects act a lot of the other acting in the episode i thought was very good mm -hmm. um story-wise just you know not a whole lot happened yeah exactly so uh i think that's about as yeah. much as we can say without getting into spoilers like i said yeah. that's very quick that didn't even take three minutes Perfect. so we are going to so spoilers here spoiler warning if you haven't seen the episode this is where you pause you watch then you come back because I need your views and that would give me two of them <laughs> <laughs> but uh <laughs> mind on the grind marketing here. that guy you know what do you mean branding yeah. you know like, but um okay so so what actually happened in this episode so following the aftermath of that Picard goes to the apartment of um I don't even remember her name the, the first synthetic girl I'm not Raj uh, Raz Al Ghul something Raz Al Ghul <laughs> Ser Mar seriously, Mar even me, I mean... It was something uh, hard to pronounce. It's only in two episodes in, so yeah. you're getting used to it. And but the you other know one's Picard's name. Yeah, of course. At least... But yeah, uh, and Picard has a little bit of an attitude uh, yeah, in that one. He's a little bit of an, a, a cranky geezer, but, he, but he, yeah. to, to, to keep going with the overview here, so they go to the apartment and his um, two, what would you call them, his servants with him at the vineyard? You know, at this Colleagues? point, I'm not even sure if they're servants or they're, they're experts or... Allies. Allies. Well, well it was basically, they, they went to him, they said in the first episode, they, they came to him because he tried to help the Romulans. Yeah. So that's why they came to like 
you know look after him but so he goes to the the apartment and then basically the romulans who killed her wiped the place clean there's no evidence of anything they managed to find a little bit of info and there was kind of like a james bond beautiful mind discovery of figuring out the info uh, the, I, the, I mean the yeah the, her servant uh, well they're both romulans off obviously yeah, yeah. right but uh her servant yes she's she knows a lot about like well the, you can tell she did a lot she, of stuff before hacking and everything right and yeah. she knows the Romulans you find out there's like this secret secret Romulan police like a secret level below yeah, secret but they don't <laughs> even say secret anymore but apparently their whole thing is that they hate synthetics with a passion for some reason why you like that one <laughs> yeah no it's, it's because beyond yeah secret. it's beyond secret it's like section 31 if you guys get the reference it's like beyond meat like <laughs> but section 31 but you know Romulan uh, version <laughs> but uh but the whole thing about them is for whatever reason they hate synthetics so yeah. that's in theory I have a feeling that's not the true reason but that's in theory why they're trying to why they were trying to kill the synthetic and her sister but all he learns from that is that the sister is off world he doesn't even know where hmm. so Picard decides to try and um, you know go off world to look for her he gets a medical exam and he find out he has a brain condition from a doctor who looked familiar but we couldn't place him so we don't know if he's been in the series before yeah. he talked about some mission in the past so maybe he was no that dude that was his friend you, you mean when they were meeting for tea yeah yeah with, that, with the doctor sitting down that was his friend that he that he worked at on the stargazer yeah, yeah. it wasn't it was a doctor though. well no that was his doctor that was his doctor that was too? his doctor okay yeah that was his doctor all right that's why the guy was like you have a brain condition and he's like can you sign off on me going and he's like well so the whole thing is that Picard sees his doctor and he yeah. has like a brain condition that's slowly deteriorating, it's giving him bad health, and eventually it could end with his death. So the guy signs off on letting Picard do space travel. Picard goes to um, Starfleet headquarters. I don't know if there's yeah. a name for that. I think it's Starfleet headquarters. And this is the bit where the first part where I really liked his acting. He goes there and he has an appointment and he sees the guy at the desk <laughs> and the guy doesn't recognize him and he's like super like... <laughs> grumpy about it like yeah he was like, it's the receptionist of the place uh, kind of thing where you know when they uh yeah exactly he's got to give him the know? id card so he can go around and, and he's like, like uh, so what's your name sir and he's like he looks at him like picard what the hell man jean luc jean luc picard, picard? Oh, the guy's like, like okay. oh sir <laughs> but the guy doesn't even apologize he's just no, like okay he, sir he doesn't say okay sir a pleasure to have you back on board and that's it it's no like, it was come just, on man here you go and but, picard was like mm. Well, I, say, I thought that part was really well done. Yeah, it, it was good, and, and you know, it, it showed a bit of the uh, um, the more um, uh, uh, not violent side of Picard, but the more a bit uh, he's getting cranky, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he has a little bit of an ego. It, it showed his personality, which I enjoyed. But and he then, is, uh, but he is a legend too. You know? Sure. Well, I mean, but he's also been out of the game for like thirty plus years. Yeah. So how is this kid gonna know who he is? You know? Yeah. But sure. I I really like that scene, and then he. Meets meets with somebody who I guess is higher than an admiral who's this woman in Starfleet to try and get a ship a crew so he can go out and they get into a huge argument over the Romulan fight where like the Romulan where they pulled out and they left the Romulans to die and everything and that's something I forgot at the very beginning of the episode they show the scene where the synthetics on Mars or on the shipbuilding base yeah sabotaged it and blew it up and they, they showed the blowing up of the uh, of um uh, Utopian Pl Planitia and yeah. Mars after that but it was really well done visually I really though. love was, that scene they, they, that scene must have cost a lot uh, this uh, <laughs> this quality it, like the visual effects were amazing the, yeah. there was a guy who they had play the synthetic and he like the way he smiled reacted the way he walked it was done perfectly mm. I think there was a bit where you see his eyes flash I think he was hacked Possible, probably by the Romulans. Yeah, it's And possible. that's what exploded it. It's a little bit more of the mystery. Exactly. Of, uh, that wasn't set out right, though. And then, yeah, obviously, Picard gets shot down by this woman. They have a huge argument. And then Picard um, basically decides he's going to go off on his own anyways. He decides he doesn't want to call back any of the old people. He doesn't want to call. They mentioned Jordy, Riker, and all that. Because he yeah. knows that they would go. He doesn't want them to risk themselves for something they don't believe in. And so he's kind of trying to build a crew while um, his two servants, the Romulan servants, one of them seems on board, one of them super not. The woman's super not on board oh, with she's it. She's pissed. Yeah. She's basically trying to get a uh, ship uh, by by himself, basically. Yeah, she, she thinks he's going to die. And by the way, uh, he's mentioning Worf and all that. And I, I, hope he, I hope he actually makes an appearance at one point. 
and and then onto the the Borg cube side. Um, so it really didn't take long. The the other synthetics you slept with that Romulan dude. Yeah. Like I think it took like maybe the length of that conversation and that <laughs> happened. Which I mean, yeah, no, she she can do whatever she wants. But I was like, really, they're not gonna like develop. The relationship more before it goes to that yeah. it's just like it's like and who's that hey who's that guy oh he's new you know i already banged him yeah <laughs> like, it was it's like <laughs> come on man what the it, hell? it was a little bit like it's like okay well i was taken aback i oh. guess they're really free uh in that bar cube I, for, I forgot one thing when he meets with the woman to try and get a ship from starfleet like, he goes in and he has this whole plan. He's like, no, I just need a small ship, a small crew. You can demote me to captain, all this. And then she actually wears. First time I think they've ever said the F word in a Star Trek series. Yeah, that's right. She was like, your fucking hubris or something. Like that. Yeah. Like his ego. And I was like, wow. Like, I was not expecting that. No, the, no that, that was a first uh, in the Star Trek series. So, so back onto the Borg cube then. She sleeps with this guy. You find out that that dude, obviously, which we all knew, was working for the Romulan secret, 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 secret police. Um, and his <laughs> sister is, I guess, the one ahead in leading it or something. And um, so you also find out what they're doing there. This Borg cube has been disconnected from the collective, obviously. They're researching it, and they're also... There's, like, captive Borgs who are just, like, not powered on. And they're basically taking them apart to study the technology, which also obviously kills the people who had the Borg technology on them. There's still some Borg on the cube, if yeah. I remember. Well, we didn't see them, but they... But they were talking about them. They, they kind of insinuated that there's Borg walking around, and they have, like, this pad, badge. Pad. This, this badge, which I think yeah. cloaks them from the Borg, but that also wasn't really that dived into. But, yeah. but So that was, pretty much, that was pretty much the episode. I gotta say... Overall, I liked it more than episode one, even though less happened. Hmm. I feel like the visual effects were better, the story was better, and the acting was better. There was no point in this one where the story where I was like, why? In the first one when they killed her, I'm like, why? And then there's two, why? It's like, there was no point like that. I felt like it was tighter written, but of course it's not the pilot. Hmm. The pilot, you have so much stuff you have to get through, right? Yeah. The, my only criticism is that I do think not enough happened for a 45 minute episode you're right they could have cut out a lot of the dead time yes but again they're also setting things up there was also less fan service you only mentioned earl gray t once yeah i think they they got uh, they got some stuff so Just you once. so you actually sent a tweet about it right a tweet about the earl gray to to uh Janet picard so? i can he's on twitter i believe <laughs> or patrick stewart is uh, patrick stewart yeah <laughs> sir patrick stewart Meh. no you're not a sir on twitter but uh Sorry. yeah but yeah, and I actually liked the line about Earl Grey in this one where yeah. he, he's sitting down with the woman from the Institute and he's like, you know, like, I have a bunch of different tea. What would you like? And she's like, Earl Grey. And he's like, I like you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That that was the way that yeah. I really, that's how they should do those fan service moments. Subtly. Like, very subtle where the, you get why it's a thing, but it's not like, here's but, Earl Grey, here's Earl Grey, here's Earl Grey, yeah, Earl Grey, Earl Grey. He's really upset about it. I'm not upset. I just felt like it was. <laughs> Sorry, he, he felt like he had a little bit of splash of Earl Grey in his face at one point. You know, I, I just feel like <laughs> it could have been, it was handled poorly in the first episode. Because they were like, oh my, oh my God, oh my God, we got to make sure people know this is Star Trek. This it was card. a big oh Oh my god. But there might be, you know, you never know. There might be actually some money uh, involved into it. I Who hope. Knows? I do hope. Well, and in the pilot, of course. No, you know. no matter what, somebody's paying somebody for the right to use Earl Grey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a registered brand. It's so all a big conspiracy based in Hungary. It's not a conspiracy, <laughs> but money has exchanged hands. Otherwise, they could not say Earl Grey. Oh, okay. So may maybe Earl Grey advertises on so, CBS or whatever that station is. So which un so which underground mafia is that involved in the, this all uh, still thing? The, the secret, 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 secret Romulan one. A Romulan? Oh. The one that's like six levels below secret. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's pretty we're, secret. We're ripping on it, but over, <laughs> overall, I, th I liked the intrigue. I thought the drama, I liked the acting. I thought there was a very many like good acting moments. Overall, I liked this episode But the start of that, the that episode was Definitely Picard. Yes, he did a great job in it. He really did. I I almost like I almost saw Picard from like the yeah almost. Well, he had he had a touch of like his his older self from TNG, mm. while also a little bit of his grumpy old man self. <laughs> like I I really liked the scene where the guy just didn't recognize him. And he was like, yeah. like it was, <laughs> he was pissed. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah, but also they did a good job of capturing like. 
the fact that he is all alone. You know, like when they showed him leaving, yeah. and then he has no allies and all these things. Well, except for a super... They're not Picard's allies. Why would they have killed his girl, then? No, no, no not, not those Romulans. They sir. There's too many Romulan spies in this, <laughs> this, this series, man. It's, it's oh, gone yeah. too much. Well, underground, underground, underground. Undergr underground there are only yeah, three yeah. levels underground, and the rest are six levels? Was well, that it? number two, number four, you know, <laughs> it kind of clashes sometimes. No, but, but yeah, I, there, <laughs> there is a lot of Romulans in there. I hope no we Vulcans yet. I hope we see some Cardassian at some point, and uh, hey, hell, maybe uh, visit Quarks. Yeah, he wants to see the Ferengi. Yeah, at least, at least once, right? I, I'm sure they'll. I'm Little sure they'll cameo. pop in at some point in some way. I mean, Hamir Shimmerman is, is still uh, Hamin is still alive. I mean, you never know. We might be see Quar seeing Quark. Old we, Quark. We we talked about it. Unfortunately, the guy who played Odo, the shapeshifter, yes. he has passed away. <laughs> but because he's a shapeshifter, if they wanted to be really shitty about it, CGI. they could, or just have another actor play him because he can change his face, do whatever he wants. Yeah, that's true. There could be a changeling involved. I, I hope maybe they don't play him. Maybe finish into Delta Quadrant. Who knows? I mean, let's hope they they, they finish at Neelix Place, uh, having uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> having some food. We were talking about that. And one of my theories, because this doctor, what was the name of the doctor who's making the synthetics? What was his name again? Maddox uh, from TNG. Brian Maddox, I think. I think it's that. So he's making these synthetics, possibly more. The, the Romulan secret, 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 secret police insinuated <laughs> that there are s more than just those two synthetics. Like, he might be making a ton of them. Yeah. They're trying to use the girl to lead them back to, like, the whole group of them. But, so the entire thing was they were like, why would he do this? And I think it is because, similar to what was with Picard, he won't, he's going to die or he has some issue and he wants to download himself into a synthetic. Which is something that I know was talked about in one of the Star Treks in some form. At uh, least in some way. In the original series, there was some planet. So, but there's I, always mine. I my, think that might change. be why he's manufacturing synthetics, even though it's illegal, so he can do that. That could be what happens to Picard. Maybe Picard himself into a synthetic and becomes Data. Maybe he becomes. He has a, Data with him always. Well, maybe Bruce Maddox will become a Romulan or a Borg or a Borg. But or half Borg, half half uh, half it, Romulan, right? Half Borg, half synthetic. That was your prediction. Romulan as a third. <laughs> uh, who knows? Too many I halves. Mean, yeah, too it, many can, halves. It, can, it can be like, <laughs> it can be anything pretty much. But uh, we're just speculating at that point. But yeah, overall, I I really enjoyed the acting. I liked the scenes. Like I I honestly like this episode more than the first one. Although yeah. the first one, I like the action and the pace a little bit more because it was a little bit faster and more happened but i mean you know me yeah, i enjoyed both in their own way because they're both different and there's going to be that in a series it's normal it's going to be ups and down slower parts and depending on actors availability well maybe uh cameos that will not be in like just one season per you know well i mean we already know Riker and seven of nine are going to at least seven of nine i think has a large role yes. in the show from the seems like Riker at least has a scene so, uh, and I would I would hope for some other cameos. But I hope they work them in in a way that makes sense, and it's not just like, oh, here's here's Jordy yeah, yeah. for the sake of having Jordy <laughs> in an episode, you know? Like, yeah, he's just there to have a glass of wine, right? Yeah, he's got some information. That's it. Like just <laughs> for the headline, you know? Like I hope I hope they work them in more organically and better than that. You know, I gotta say something. It's nice that in the last episode of TNG, that. All good things come to an end. I think it was when Q tells him that the game never ends. That's right. So I did and, see it, but it's been. And if you remember anything of it, you see Jordy, old Jordy, coming to see uh, old Picard in the future and uh, in his vineyard. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you didn't know? But that, that's, I don't remember. That that's the continuity of it because the last that that's what happened, but. You know, there was an old thing with Q and... Uh, well, they also was, had movies after that as well. So. Yeah, that's true. But, okay, that's, but you well, see him, you know, in, in, in the timeline. Yeah, the I, I would assume that probably has happened before the events of Star Trek Picard, though. That would be my assumption. I don't think Jordy's going to walk up in the next episode and be there. Like, I assume that happened sometime during the last 30 years before... The yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I would assume. Yeah. Not necessarily, but... but I'm just mean does it... You know, yeah, yeah, there, there is there is a continuity there. But yeah, overall, I mean, I, I enjoyed the episode. It makes me very hopeful for the season. The bad writing was a lot... It was a lot tighter written, this episode. Yeah. You can tell that there's a long, overarching plot to it, but overall, I enjoyed it. I got one last thing to say about it, though, because there was a scene 
when they were in uh, in an office and there was it was sunny outside and you were seeing the reflection you know like jg abrams with his uh, lens, uh, flares. lens flares and all that i'm sorry i know that might be a thing with a lot of uh uh people that do videos and and movies but it's really it really sucks i don't know were there lens flares in that you didn't see no. Yeah, you were seeing the sun reflection and some lens flare from the from the freaking uh, maybe it was a, maybe it was a reference to JJ Abrams. And, and maybe it was an Omar. Who knows? I, I'm not a big fan of the lens flare thing. That's just his signature thing. It's like Michael Bay always has to have explosions. But he's he's not in the credits, so I don't know. Well, no, I don't think JJ Abrams was is involved whatsoever, and in, he just makes movies now. Yeah. But it, it could have been an homage, or maybe it's just. That's the feel they wanted to give to Starfleet. Was this super slick, bright kind of thing? Or, pa or passing fancy. Could be. A, a lot of the times, I mean, on good shows, when they do different locations like that, they will film them in different ways to make them seem different. Maybe okay. lens flare was a thing, but I honestly didn't notice. Yeah, okay. Oh. So, but I, I guess it's a little rant, but... <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely didn't ruin the scene for me, and I thought that speech, him with the, with the woman there, was really good. Yeah, it was well done. Overall, pretty good, different, but uh, I'm sure uh, you, I'm sure if you liked the first one, you would enjoy it. Well and, done. And I, I enjoyed it mostly more than the first one, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I thought it was... I wish there was more action, but I thought it was better written, better acted, more story to dig your teeth into, you know? But uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for me. Anything else you want to add before we close no. this out? Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, be on the next one or not? What's your feel? Well, we're going to see how these videos do. If you guys actually like it, we'll do another one. If not, definitely when the series closes, we will do a final recap regardless. Yeah. And that's as you it. notice, he, he's got a Star Trek pin that's poking into his skin there. That's and right. I'm pretty proud of it. It's a uh, Voyager. Uh... <laughs> and he's also wearing an engaged t-shirt, but the card looks too young, man. You got to age him up. Oh, wait a minute. Something like that. <laughs> Scrunch him up. <laughs> Scrunch him up. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. But uh, yeah, like I said, super fan, casual viewer, casual viewer enjoyed it more. You gotta dress as a fan, right? I guess. So yeah. Dress, to, dress for the job you want, Phil. See you again for the next review. <laughs> Who knows what it's gonna be? <laughs> so yeah, guys. Thanks yeah. for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next. See you guys.